Hey, how's it going? So we are checking out a brand new ramp company called Finger Everything Ramps. You may have seen one of the parks that they made over at, what was it called? The Salem event. I can't remember. Return to the Fingerboard Jam. I picked some stuff up. Let's check it out. So it did come in this really big box. So I'm just going to open it up, put it on the table. You know the drill. It came really well packed. I see a bunch of this bubble wrap. Hmm. I'll put this down over here. So we'll go ahead and save that thing for last because I am out of room on this table. So as usual, we'll go ahead and start with the extras first. So there was this pack of finger everything stickers. I think there's like five in here. I don't think it tells me how many are here. Nah, it looks like there's five stickers in this pack. I'm not 100% sure. We got this really long finger everything sticker. I, you know, the ones that go like across the ramps and stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't know why I unraveled it. Awesome. So this was something that he told me was thrown in. So we'll go ahead and move on to this. So this right here is a prototype of the shotgun rail. I saw that he posted about this not too long ago. They're coming in three different sizes. So on the bottom of this, it does say prototype. It says S2 and then March 23. So this prototype here is going to be about nine and a half inches. Oh, nine and one quarter, nine and a quarter, a little bit more than an inch tall. And then it's pretty pretty thin I don't know half an inch thin I guess it's about the, the width of the trucks but it does grind very smooth I guess that after you know he was testing it out he sent it to me so that is really cool so that's gonna be fun So thank you for throwing in the prototype shotgun rail as well as the stickers. That is super, super cool. Oh, uh, next we'll move on to, well, I guess we'll save these last because I'm going to set one of them up. So this next obstacle is going to be called the simple wedge. So what it is is two kickers. We got a little rail right there in the middle. That is really, really cool looking. First impressions, it is fantastic looking. It looks like it's solidly built. There's no chips or anything going on on the right up. There's the bottom. So it is going to be hollow, but it's like thick plywood. So it probably won't be too loud. We do have the finger everything burned right there and right there, as well as the stickers. So this ramp, so this ramp is going to be about a foot long and then about three inches at the tallest point. So let's see how it rides. I need more space, but that'll do. So just like I thought, it's not very, very loud, which is something that I do like, but it does feel solid. Let's give this a grind real quick. And that grinds very solid too. I don't know what I was trying. I don't know why I did a backside flip, but that's cool. And pop over, stall, that's neat. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun to use. Good job, awesome, I like this. One of the reasons why I really like that is I don't really have anything that's just two kickers put together. What I used to do was put two of the pocket kickers from Black River, put them on pallets to kind of get this uh, thing going on. So I'd like manual up it and down it and do all sorts of tricks like that, but something like that, I think it's cool. So up next, is something that I think looks amazing. So this right here is gonna be the double park bench. And as you can see, it is solidly built. We have the finger everything burned right there and right there. The smell of plywood feels fantastic. The sanding on it is very, very good. It feels very smooth. And I think that the park bench looks so cool that I got two of them. 
And just like the other one, fantastic. I don't see any chips or nothing. So it was everything was packed very well during shipping. One thing that I do look for when I get wooden ramps is check the edges. Because that is something that I always look at. These ones, they look fantastic. Um, he packed everything very, very well. This is the double park bench, which is going to be something really cool to take. I plan on taking these to the um, to the park session me and my friends go to. So that's going to be really, really cool. So this double park bench is going to be a little bit over nine inches long, about three and a half inches high. And this thing's pretty wide. It's going to be five inches wide. And the little, I don't know, the sitting part, it's one and a half inches. So that is the dimensions. Look around it real quick. So I really like this plywood, how it goes from light to dark right there in between. And I think it looks really, really cool. That's what it looks like underneath. Just like the other one, this one is solidly built. So I can see that it's held together with, I'm guessing glue and some nails for extra reinforcement. This one right here does not have non-sliders already but I got plenty lying around. This is very, very cool. So let's check this out. Uh, we'll do it this way. That slides very well. So does the bottom. What about the other side? I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, that was close. So that slides good. That slides good. I don't know what I was trying. And it grinds very good too. Another thing that I liked, I was messing around with this earlier. This, uh, the shotgun rail fits perfectly on the bench. So if I want to get really crazy and just grind something really high, that sits perfect on there. That's cool. So let's put y'all here. So for the last obstacle, it's something really, really cool. So this is gonna be his newest obstacle that he does offer. Again, if this video comes out before the shotgun rail, then it's the shotgun rail and you already saw that one. But as far as like the bigger obstacles, this is the newest one that he has. So this right here is gonna be the three stair hubba and I think it looks really, really cool. So it's pretty compact for what it is. So we got a kicker right here, big ledge with the kink. Well, with the hubba, we got three stairs. Both sides have some angle iron so you can grind on them. That is really cool. And here's a quick 360 degree view. And we'll rotate it this way too. So the hubba is screwed in very, very well with these giant screws right there. Oh, that looks cool. Where's the finger everything stamp? We got the finger everything stamp right there. Let's grind this. So it grinds very well. I'm sure there was easier ways to grind that. I just made it difficult for myself for no reason. So yeah, the sides, they grind fantastic. Let's do a kickflip nose grind on here just for the funsies. Well, that was weird, but we got an unboxing to do. We'll take it. So this is really cool. I almost have enough to make my own finger everything park. So all I need is a quarter pipe, a hangout. Oh no, he has a bunch of different obstacles. Um, be sure to check his website out. So let's get into the dimensions of this one. So the entire length of this, it's gonna be about 18 inches, about 18 inches long from end to end. The hubba portion looks like it's gonna be 13 inches. And then the sides, about two inches high. And the hubba is about, about the same, just under two inches high from the, from the deck right there. Solid size obstacle. And just like the other obstacles, this one right here, solidly, solidly built. And it's only, what, like 55 bucks. I'm pretty sure it's 55 bucks on the website for something like this. Which brings me to the next things, because not only did I pick up the, the ramps, I picked up some of the fingerboards that he had to offer too. So the deck itself runs 20 bucks, but... If you're new to fingerboarding, you can pick up a complete for $30. It doesn't come with anything too fancy. You got your 
CNC wheels, China trucks, but these are the inverted kingpin, so that is pretty neat. So here's the packaging with just the deck. Got yeah, it comes in a baggie, got the deck in front, I see a sheet of grip tape, and then one big sticker that looks like that right behind the deck. So the difference between these two decks are, this is what is called the park shape, this one's the street shape, and I think it just came down to the kicks and the concave, which I wanted to go with the higher kicks and concave. But what does stick out to me is this one has some really nice blue metal plies. That looks cool. So yeah, that's just the deck. Once again, 20 bucks. 20 bucks gets you a professional fingerboard. And then 30 bucks gets you a setup that is above and beyond a tech deck if that's what you're using. So in the complete, something that I completely missed on the other one, so on the top of the packaging, it does say what the truck type as well as the deck shape. Um, one thing that I'm not seeing is these are 34 millimeter wide decks, but I, I kind of think that's all the decks. I think they all came in 34. So that might be why it's not on here. But we do have the website down here, deck shape, truck type. It's, it's reverse on my side, the side I was looking at. So yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not editing it out. I'm not redoing it. So inside the pack, got your fingerboard, the sticker, one sheet of grip tape, a tool with all the bits that you need to set it up, and the wheels. Where'd the trucks go? They're still in the pack. And the trucks. So something interesting is this did come with five wheels, which is really cool in case one of the wheels gets lost. So here's the deck. On this one, the metal plies are these really cool zebra metal plies. And then we have a yellow top ply. The deck construction on this thing is fantastic. It is very, very stiff. The kicks, they feel super good. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's set this up. So uh, as I was putting the, as I was putting the deck together, the camera turned off. I had to change the battery, I forgot. Anyways, here's the deck all set up everything is stock what you get inside the finger everything complete package as you can tell the the bushings they they can't deal with the with the john style but let's test this deck out so the deck itself feels fantastic i like the high kicks the deep concave there we go we'll go ahead and do the prototype board the prototype pledge prototype rail am i about to buy more boards well as you can see 30 bucks plus 50 bucks Oh yeah, and you did get it. I got an extra nut and screw and wheel too. So that's pretty neat. So if this is, for whatever reason, the first fingerboard video review unboxing thing that you see, under a hundred bucks gets you this and the complete. The deck is fantastic. Of course, from here, you just work on upgrading the wheels and then the trucks. Also the grip tape, I would say invest in some grip tape also. But yeah, for under a hundred bucks, you're all set with this right here. Or if that's just too big, pick yourself up this thing right here when those drop. Yeah, this I'm impressed by the deck. So this was my most recent and my first order from Finger Everything Ramps. The quality is fantastic. From the double bench, the simple wedge, even this prototype, the three stair hubba, it's fantastic, super solid. Deck itself feels very, very good. Uh, after this video, I might take it apart and then set it up the way that I would want to set it up because I do think that the deck is fine. And I'll be using it on live, probably tonight. If you're watching this live, yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Anyways, I'll have his website as well as his Instagram down in the description below. That way you can stay up to date with whatever he has going on and you'll know when he's dropping something new, such as this hubba, this shotgun rail, I don't know what else he could come out with. He does have quite a few other ramps on the website, so be sure to go check those out. So my first impressions on these ramps, it was, they're all great. They're all fantastic. I can't wait to take these to the park tomorrow. What's today? Yes, Saturday. Tomorrow, if it's not like cold, 
because for whatever reason, it's supposed to be cold again and raining. So fingers crossed that that does not happen. But yeah, the everything was fantastic. The metal coping feels great and it's intact. <laughs> if you know, you know. So that is really cool. I'll have my Instagram down in the description below as well. Give me a follow. I do go live from time to time, usually later on in the evenings. About right now this time. And mainly on the weekends. Lately, it's just kind of been whenever. But that'll do it for this video. Take it easy. Have a good one.